Welcome back, Goofy Sun, DBZ here, and this time I thought we'd do a new special two-parter top 50 list. This is the top 50 best-selling games from Capcom. Part 1, of course, 50 to 26. So with that said, also, it's confusing how some of this stuff was put together as some games are strictly one console version well, others are for multiple consoles. I'm not sure, but all of these numbers and sales come from straight from Capcom sales reports, which you can find easily on their official website. So with that said, all these numbers are 100% official by the company themselves. So with that said, um, one game that didn't quite make top 50, I just want to mention, which was nice seeing, um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite actually sold one uh, sold 2.1 million copies that makes me happy knowing at least the game ended up selling over 2 million even if not one of the top 50. well that's it coming in at number 50 of the best selling games from capcom at 50 is the original devil may cry for the ps2 exclusively of course uh it sold an estimated 2 million 160 thousand copies or 2.16 million not bad released of course in 2001 at 49 released in 2011 is <clears throat> marvel vs capcom 3 the fate of two worlds which was the base original vanilla release which was still really good it sold an estimated 2 million 200 thousand copies next up at 48 release in 2005 um, is Resident Evil 4 but exclusively just the PS2 version. Uh, the PS2 version alone sold an estimated 2,300,000 copies which is pretty dang good as one of those people who has a copy. Um, with that said at 47 release in 2017 um, is the HD remaster of Okami, which sold an estimated 2,300,000 copies. Awesome. And it deserves it. Okami is a superb classic, in all honesty. And I definitely highly recommend people get picking up the HD re-release of Okami, as it's a very good game. F46 released in 2010 is Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition. Yeah, just a improved version, I guess you could say. Just that alone sold 2.3 million copies, which is kind of crazy, just one version. At 45 is um, released in 2019 for the Nintendo Switch. Um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, which sold also an estimated 2,300,000 copies. Coming in at 44, released in 2016, is Resident Evil 6 HD, just a HD remaster, uh, sold also an estimated 2,300,000 copies, which is crazy, because that game is trash, but that's my opinion only. At 43 is arguably one of my personal favorite Capcom games. Um, released in 1999, uh, just the PS1 version, is uh, sold an estimated 2,400,000 copies, and that is Dino Christ's, which is an all time classic. To me, at 42, um, released in 2007, it is a superb, great, high difficulty game for the PSP. And that is Monster Hunter Freedom 2. And by the way, get used to hearing Monster Hunter a lot on this list. Um, at 41, released in 2015, is uh, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, which is the remaster version on current gen platforms. It sold an estimated 2,400,000 copies, which is kind of crazy. But with that said...
Next, coming in at 40, released in 2013, is Resident Evil Revelations. And this is the original release, not the remaster. Um, it would end up being, though, a multi-platform besides PC, like you're talking um, 360, PS3, Wii U, but this is not the original 3DS version, which did not sell huge numbers. But this version of the game would end up selling also 2,400,000. So I'm glad at least Resident Evil Revelations has done reasonably well, as it is a very good game. Coming in at 39 is Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD Edition. Um, which, of course, is just basically a remaster from the 8th console generation. It was uh, sold around estimated 2,600,000 copies. Next, at 38, is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, released in 2011. And, if I remember correctly, it was released exclusively, I believe, on the 3DS... Though it would get like a improved version on the Wii U. It ended up selling around an estimated 2,600,000 copies. So it sold reasonably well. With that said, coming in next at 37, released in 2012, is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Um... That was released on the 7th console generation. It sold an estimated 2,600,000 copies. Speaking of which, next at 36 is the original classic Resident Evil 1 for the PS1 as well as the Sega Saturn. Though it did not sell well on the Saturn. With that said, it sold an estimated 2,750,000 copies. So it still sold pretty well for the most part and yeah mostly on this list expect mostly predominantly be monster hunter or resident evil because it's capcom's main money um coming at 35 is actually kind of an interesting one released in 2018 on the eighth console generation would be um street fighter the 30th Anniversary Collection. So it's interesting seeing a collection up here. Uh, it sold an estimated 2,800,000 copies. So 30th Anniversary Edition did pretty well. I mean, then again, given you got 12 games, that was pretty definitely worth the money, that's for sure. Coming in at 34, released in 2016, would be Resident Evil 5 HD Edition for, of course, the 8th console generation. Just an upscale remaster, more or less. Not a huge difference, though, for the most part. But still, it sold 2,800,000 copies, so. Also, um, next at 33, released strictly the previous version, the 7th console generation original release, uh, DMC Devil May Cry, believe it or not. Uh, actually sold an estimated 2,900,000 copies. Yeah, sold 2.9 million. So it actually did pretty well. Now, I never played that. I only played the Definitive Edition, which didn't sell quite as much. I believe it sold some like around 1.4, 1.5. So it still did pretty well for the most part. Um, the next, the 32 release in 2016... Uh, this would be the HD re-release for PS4 and Xbox One, and that is Resident Evil 4 HD, comes in at 32. Coming in at 31, uh, the original release, uh, released in 2008 on PS3 360, uh, Resident, or Resident, Devil May Cry 4. Sold an estimated 3 million copies, so it did very well. At 30, released in 2010, is the original release of Dead Rising 2, which sold an estimated 3,100,000 copies, so it did very well. At 29, released in 2013, would be the 
ultimate version, at least of that console generation. And that would be Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, or however you want to say, but it sold an estimated 3,100,000 copies. And this is the 360 PS3 version, keep in mind, just the ultimate version. Coming in at 28, released in 2015. Resident Evil Revelations 2, uh, which sold an estimated 3,200,000 copies, so it did pretty well. Coming in at 27, released in 2013, selling an estimated 3,300,000 copies, Dead Rising 3, which surprises me as there's a lot of people bash on Dead Rising 3 yet. It has sold surprisingly well. Uh, with that said, last but not least, for Part 1, released in 2009, selling an estimated 3,400,000 copies. Street Fighter 4, the base vanilla edition. Yes, believe it or not. It sold actually just under 3.5 million copies, just the base version. Not including Super Street Fighter 4, as well as Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, 3D Edition, and Ultra Street Fighter 4. So, yeah, many others in the future. But with that said, that is it for this edition of the Top 50 Best Selling Games from Capcom. And it is weird how they have this on their official website. But with that said, uh, simple. Music in the background is from the safe room in Resident Evil Co-Veronica X. Or Resident Evil Co-Veronica. But with that said, stay safe and I'll see y'all next time. And yeah, decided to try to do a little different background this time around with some pretty cool Cowboy Bebop and other artwork and stuff. But with that said, I'll see y'all again soon enough. And please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you again. Peace out. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.